When I saw Kendall in L.A., I believed it when she said she didn't care about her husband. She was deserting her children. And now, to think that she was forced to say those things. But, but you weren't certain. I mean, you had your doubts. You talked to me about them. You had doubts about Kendall, but you had doubts about Zach, too. You wondered how he couldn't possibly go after her. I, I, we all wondered that. Well, I can't just sit here and wait for the phone to ring. Should I go to L.A.? I mean, Zach told me not to go to the police. He has to do this by himself. Would you do that? Yes, I probably would. I have to go to the police. I'm surprised you wanted to come. I mean, with your condition and everything. I thought you could use a night out, as could I, after the craziness of the last few weeks. Thank you. So why don't we just enjoy the evening, right? Oh. I expected uh, somewhat of a bigger affair than this. Hey. I didn't uh, know that you were going to be here. Uh, yeah, we, we got an invitation at the house. I was going to call you. Yeah? So he's not hosting this, he is hosting this. Nope, I'm in the dark. Just like the rest of you, it seems. So what is this? Someone's idea of a practical joke? Well, if it is, I'm not laughing. What is this? Who's hosting this? We don't know. You look beautiful. Thanks. You suppose it's my father's idea? He's rubbing the court's decision in everyone's faces? I never put together a whole party just out of spite. We had nothing to do with this. This is turning out to be some sort of Agatha Christie mystery. I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to say to everyone I'm sorry about what happened between us at the courthouse. And I'm sure um, in time you'll understand my decision. No one understands your decisions. You traded your family and the love of that family for a vicious little tramp. I don't expect any of you to accept me, at least not yet, but I did hope that eventually your feelings for me would thaw a bit. <laughs> sure, then we'll all go ice skating in hell. All right, look, I think it's time for me to come clean. I'm the one that arranged this little get together. Oh, why am I not surprised? So why all the secrecy? What do you want from us? All in good time, Jake. Not everyone's here yet. This wasn't supposed to happen like this. Well, how could you have known? I never would have guessed Aiden would do something like this. He was my friend. Whatever his reasons are, it's not going to matter because Zach will find him and Zach will kill him. Well, then you don't know Aiden as well as you think you do. Oh, I do. You just don't know Zach. You, you just said this is not how it was supposed to be. Because you think of Aiden as the man that you used to know, right? Just like I did. The man who was there for you when you needed him. Not this, this horrible man that he's become. It's too late. It's already gone too far. No, no, it hasn't. Not yet. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to untie these ropes and let me go. Let me find Zach before Zach finds Aiden. I'd like to be in here alone, please. Take your time. You're going to do exactly what you're told. You belong with me now. Where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere. Don't be stupid. I'll kill you first. He never deserved you. You should have been with me this whole time. You'll forget about him. I promise. Do exactly what I told you, or I'll kill your mother if you so much as wink at her. I want to 
want you to come home. It's over. Your sentence has been overturned. I know. I know, Mom, but it doesn't matter. My life with Zack is over. Please. Think of Ian. Think of Spike. I think about them all the time. But they're better off without me. That's not true. Yes, it is, Mom, it is. And I know that makes me a horrible person, but it's the truth. I'm not gonna let you do this. Mom, just leave. Please, just go. Please, leave. Just, just get out. Please, leave.